Just days after Vercel acquired Nux Labs, Nux 4.0 is officially out. This release focuses on improving the developer experience with smarter data fetching, better type safety, and a major overhaul of how projects are structured. Thanks to Vue's growth in popularity, its already loyal user base, and the tons of money that will probably start to pour in from Vercel, Nuxt is one of the most promising full-stack frameworks in the JavaScript ecosystem right now, so, of course, we really need to talk about all the big changes coming in this new release. The biggest update by far is how projects are organized. Older Nuxt versions follow the flatter project structure, where everything lived at the root level of the project directory. This layout worked, but it mixed user-defined app code with root-level config files and with the node modules folder. So, moving forward, all your app pages, components, layouts and more will live in an app directory. Coincidentally or not, this is how things are done in Next.js as well, and, based on the recent acquisition, I believe it is safe to assume Next and Next will become more similar moving forward. Another important update is in the data fetching system. Use async data and use fetch are now optimized, so multiple components using the same key will now share their data automatically. On top of that, automatic cleanup is performed when components unmount and you can use reactive keys to refetch data when needed. TypeScript support has finally been cleaned up as well. So now, instead of treating your whole project as one giant TS context, Nuxt splits it into separate projects for app code, server code, shared logic and configuration. This will lead to better type inference, fewer random error messages and better autocomplete. On the CLI front, cold starts are faster, file watching is more efficient and the dev server now uses internal sockets instead of network ports. While this might not seem like much, it is one of those behind-the-scenes improvements which makes our lives a bit easier. On top of that, the CLI now benefits from native file system watching and V8 compile cache reuse. It is important to note that Nux 3 will still get maintenance updates until the beginning of next year, but what's more interesting is that Nux 5 is already on the roadmap, and that release will go hand in hand with an updated Nitro server engine. If you are not familiar with it, Nitro is the server engine that runs everything behind the scenes in a Nux app. It handles your API routes, server-side rendering, middleware, and even deployment targets. In other words, it is what turns Nux from a basic front-end framework into a proper full-stack tool. However, what makes Nitro interesting is that it's completely framework agnostic, and of course, Vercel got it in the acquisition deal as well. The plan for Nitro's next version is to focus on performance, add support for SSR streaming, more powerful caching strategies, and improved fetch logic across server and client. Features like strongly typed fetch calls and more granular control over how responses are cached and served are also in the pipeline. Let me know if you are interested in more Vue and Nuxt content, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you for watching.